Hey everyone, I'm Nathan, and today's suggestion comes from the comment section of my Pokemon video where I was asked to review an old episode of Drawfee where they turned themselves into characters of a sports anime. I love these characters and designs, and I appreciated the suggestion. I love not having to think of new ideas. The main character is Jacob, who is your stereotypical sports anime boy, but he does all the sports, from baseball to basketball to lacrosse. I don't really know what that stick in his hand is, but yeah, he's the main character. And then the coach character is Julia Le Petit. She has an eye patch. She's edgy. And she's trying to make her young ward the best, I don't know, master of sports, I guess. And then Nathan is just the mascot. So come along with me as we turn the cast of Drawfee into anime characters. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the speed draw. To be completely honest, y'all, I do not watch a lot of sports anime. It's just not a genre that I find myself particularly drawn to. And so because of that, I was really struggling to come up with the composition and aesthetic for this piece. But at the time, I was re-watching Heartstopper, which is a live action show on Netflix. And yeah, it's about these two gay boys coming of age and falling in love, and they play rugby in it. So it's basically a sports anime if you think about it it and squint. Um, yeah. So I took a still from that show from a particular scene where one of the main characters gets hurt, and I recontextualized it by using the characters from Drawfee. So in this image, we have the coach character of Julia. Her back is to us. You can see I'm inking her hair now. And it's just very emotional because she's going to be looking out and seeing Jacob, her star player, being injured because Julia pushed him too hard, causing him to play too hard, causing him to injure himself. The drama is real. So now coach Julia is having this like existential crisis about, oh my gosh, I want him to be the very best sports ball player in the world, but are my methods to madness? Am I driving him to self-destruction? These are the existential drama and dilemmas that I assume are in sports anime. I've barely watched Haiku Yu, y'all. I don't know what happens in sports anime. Um, yeah, but you can see I'm inking Jacob now. I just wanted him to look very pathetic, sort of um, his, he's being carried off the field by two of his friends. And yeah, I wanted to draw half his face covered in blood, which you're going to see when I get into the coloring in just a moment after I, there it is, there's the blood. Um, yeah, I love the colors of these designs. I didn't have to change them much at all because they were just already so strong. Um, but he's so severely injured. He has an ouchie on his brain. I hate that. Um, yeah. And so who are the two friends carrying him, you might be asking? Well, it's none other than Nathan from the other episode of Drawfee where they turn themselves into anime characters. I want to draw him and his JoJo stand being the ones to cart or carry Jacob off the field. In my mind, Nathan is the best friend role in this anime. And he's like, I can't believe you pushed yourself past your limits. That was stupid. And he's like chiding him. Um, and it was also really funny. You can see for a moment, I considered making a human person be the other friend, but the Jojo stand was just already such a good design that I had to do it. Um, I had to make the Jojo be also carrying him off the field, which is funny because my partner loves Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I couldn't quite get into it. I don't know why. It's just a lot of um, exposition. I don't like a lot of exposition in any narrative forms that I watch. But I did love the designs and aesthetic. And normally the stands are very powerful. So the idea that this guy isn't strong enough to carry Jacob on his own is just very funny and humorous to me. I took a lot of delight in that. And as I'm finishing up the face, we're about to get into the coloring of these two. So yeah, I start off by just, you know, filling in the entire outline in white because I draw on Procreate. And yeah, the drop tool, what drop tool? It doesn't really work that well. Um, but I'm about to fill in their local colors, which if you're not a very experienced artist or if you're new to this, a local color just means the flats that you color things before you... Um, adjust the saturation and hue to match the environment. So yeah, I'm just filling in what colors they would be in a bright um, inside room or in broad daylight. And then on the other side of 
Coach Julia. I'm including Karina because she wasn't in the original video that the comments suggested I watch to do this. Uh, so I used this design from the same JoJo stand <laughs> video where she's inside the world of Yu-Gi-Oh, which I actually can talk about with some authority because as a child, yes, I did watch Fox Kids Box, you know, that channel with the freaking Coconut Fred and stuff like that. But that's where I first watched Cardcaptor Sakura and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. So I did watch this show. I know about the Shadow Realm, which doesn't actually exist. It's only in the dub. Yeah, so I felt like I could give some authenticity to this particular design. I wanted to include a lot of belts that are unnecessary. I wanted it to be very stereotypical. And I wanted Karina to sort of feel like this LARPer nerd kid that people would make fun of in the in the hallways. But also, magic is real because that JoJo is just here. So she definitely can use her cards to summon monsters. That She's going to sick on the people that injured her friend Jacob and um, tear them limb for limb. So... Good luck with that. I wanted her in this cool action pose, about to play a card. And then it happens kind of later, but I'm going to add like this glow and magical effect around her as well. And then up above, you can see I'm doing this Totoro looking <laughs> fellow, which is the mascot that Nathan is supposed to be in. So I guess in this world, there are two Nathans. I don't know why I do this, but this also happened in the tarot card episode where I felt bad that there was only one Nathan, so I drew two. I don't know, it's strange. I just, I draw lots of Nathans. Also, ooh, fun Easter egg for you drawfy like super fans. The bag of chips that he's eating, I put Chips the dog on it, who's, you know, the ambassador. Ha <laughs> ha, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I felt so fun and clever when I did that. It made me really happy. Um, but you can see I'm doing the background now, which was quite nice to do on account that uh, I had a reference from the live action show that I was basing this image off of. So I didn't have to stress out about, you know, lines or symmetry or architecture. I could just really focus on filling out the picture plane throwing these colors up and not worrying and getting too into the weeds about, you know, the technical aspects of the background and just focus on the anime characters, the vibe of the day and the emotional tone of the piece in general. Um, and yeah, as we're getting closer to finishing up the background, I'm about to start placing in the background characters, which were actually suggested by my Patreon. Um, I always like asking them what characters should appear in the background of my videos. And so I don't have the list right in front of me. Oh, these colors are so good. Sorry, I just have to take a moment. Look at these beautiful, it just feels so rainy and foggy and sad because something tragic and sad did happen here. Look at those blue blues. It's just so nice. I love these shadows. They really help ground and round out the um, characters with this cell shading so they don't feel so much like stickers. Um, but yeah, back to the background characters that still haven't appeared yet. Um, they're basically suggested by my Patreon members. And so somebody wanted to see their two favorite um, characters that they ship from a sports anime I, I also had never heard of. So I do include those I think next, I think I'm going to include them. I don't know their names. Forgive me, Patreon, for I have sinned. Oh, there's that dramatic, um, magical things around Karina I was talking about. But yeah, these are they. I don't know if they're canonically gay or if they're only in the fandom gay. I also don't know their names or what anime they're from. But one is red and one is blue. And if that particular Patreon member comments down below who they are or if you recognize them that would be very helpful but yeah I put them on one side um they were fun to do because you know height difference color difference um they're just under an umbrella and they're also horrified at what's been unfolding before them on this day and then I color them in and after that I'm going to just draw a whole bunch <laughs> of you know not really actual characters, but just crowds behind them or an implication of crowds to fill it out. But on the other side, I'm drawing the rival team. So they're in rugby uniforms, but it's these two characters from One Piece, which I have seen a tiny bit of, but I also don't know their names. Um, one of them is like a hunter, cowboy, Australian? I don't know. 
he's from One Piece, and the other one is the guy that normally wears a suit and is blonde and has a goatee. Um, but they were part of the rival school, I guess, and they're the ones responsible for injuring Jacob, and they're about to have their butts beat by the monsters Karina is um, conjuring. So yeah, they were also suggested by Patreon if you want to support the channel. You can also have, you know, fun little background characters or Easter eggs added into my videos. Um, or if you can't, just by commenting down below, <laughs> this is the finished illustration. Um, I love how it turned out. It sort of snuck up on me, but yeah, this was entirely made by a comment on my Pokemon video. So just comment down below any ideas that you would like to see in the future or Drawfee videos that you feel like don't get enough love or that are old or niche. And maybe I'll turn those into videos as well. I really love the Drawfee community. Y'all are so nice or we're so nice. I'm also a Drawfee fan. So I don't know. I just appreciate all of the good vibes. So if you have an idea for things you want me to draw, feel free to drop them down below. Um, yeah. Or if you want to get more specific on Patreon, you can suggest characters. And this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nathan. And it's now it's time for the end credits. <laughs> Here they are. Special thanks to Anna Sophia Boyd, Axelius the Great, Bodhi, Blue Uwu, Kay Clark, Christopher, Dabadudu, Dax Quinn, Aaron Martin, Emma Wee, Gay Jarris, J. Johar, JD Boy 2000, Johan, Kitsune Chibiko, Lucky Paradox, Melon, Mild Mothman, Mistake, Native Runner, Orion Amastasia, Pinecone, Potion Cellar Door, Rin, Scorching Ray, Sir Camelot, Smalls the Sax Jammer, Shernanigans, Tad the Turtle, Tarthalinor, The Real Michael, Thumper Daytime, Thony, Tortilla Chips, Tuesdays Anyways, Tundra Katie Bean, and Tuppence Pies. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nathan, and I'll upload a new video real soon. <laughs> Bye!